Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So you got the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups showing up. So with all of these emotions, it's like, um, it's because you don't know something. When, you, when you're emotional most times, it's because, you know, lack of knowledge about, maybe about how someone feels about you. There's also a lot of um, fantasy happening here. You don't know if someone is real or if the feelings that they have for you are real. Or what they said is true. We don't know if someone's trying to cast an illusion for you. The Seven of Cups. You're not sure if you're missing out on the opportunity of a relationship. Maybe because you're being too emotional. Or someone feels that way about you. Because there's distance or like, you know, um a hope to a relationship right now just no activity going on between you and someone else there could just be heavy fantasy about a relationship uh, four of cups here I'm, it's something about getting in your own way or this is how somebody feels in regards to you. They feel like they're getting in their own way by not reaching out, not making the commitment, by just procrastinating, wishful thinking, no action, just overindulging, uh, having other options or just being careless with your emotions. Therefore, they feel like they missed out on you or they're missing out or they're just getting, letting themselves get in the way of having something real, true, letting something mature. Uh, go to longevity, uh, achievement, lifelong, where they can have actual harvest with someone or just a, a very nice life. It's a lot of just pausing and stopping and reflecting and trying to figure out and if you should, if you should continue, if you should carry, carry on. But there's a lot of pining and, you know, sulking over the relationship with the person, but feeling like it's not over, but taking no action. So it's just like, I don't know if the both of you have just resolved to no action, but just, you know, I'm going to just be sad about it. There's a feminine energy who's come to a place of, I'm just going to be alone for right now. I'm going to gather myself, get myself together, keep in relationships outside of my heart or my home. Um, you know, keeping people at arm's length or love or lovers at arm's length. This is someone who's trying to learn something or learn about themselves or be become independent or assert themselves independently. This is somebody here who could be a business owner or they have a lot to offer. They just aren't sure about partnering with. This is somebody here who could just be learning about spirituality, learning about balance, how to be more balanced, how to calm the storm, the raging storm, the heartbreak, the disappointment, the separation, the failure exposure the being taken for granted the being overly dramatic someone's trying to learn how to calm themselves and not be so dramatic everything it doesn't have to be final so there's somebody here who's trying to do all of this self-work alone they don't want to be in a partnership Someone's trying to learn how to take the middle ground and not always just be so drastic 
in terms of don't talk to me or we're done or somebody's mind operates in polar like black or white there's no gray area there's no give it some time or give it a rest or take the middle ground or moderation or no if somebody is just like it is or it isn't it's off or it's on it's hot or it's cold it's never warm it's never partly on partially on it's just somebody is trying to learn how to operate in um the gray area and understand themselves in the gray area understand that they can still they're not conceding or giving up a part of them but they're learning how to better negotiate compromise because somebody is a maybe was a hothead yeah somebody was up for the argument drama immature um i'm taking my ball and i'm going home i'll be a loner while I still pine over you, look after you, look, think about you, dream about you, fantasize about you, fantasize about the relationship, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to give in. Someone, this is somebody just needs to learn how to choose battles wisely. Everything is not a fight. Sometimes you just got to, you know, hold it down, be quiet. Quiet yourself. Someone is understanding pattern. It's ending the same way with different people. It's starting the same way, ending the same way with different people. Different faces, same game. Someone is also learning how to... Some deep-seated issues from the past got to resolve that so that you can be better in the now domination and forcefulness and exerting your force or will on others is not always the way. It's about give and, and take. This could be you, Aries. It could be someone else. This is what I have for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading and then I answer your questions. Um, get your own uh, reading at the website. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40OFF at checkout. Uh, the $10 and the, not to know, the 10 minute video recorded and 10 minute phone or Zoom readings are on sale. Go ahead and take advantage of those. Uh, and if you are a business minded individual, go ahead and jump on a complimentary discovery call with me to see if I can help you pursue your business endeavors. And if you want to be around like-minded individuals on a continuous basis and get valuable, practical, and spiritual advice, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going monthly conference call where you get all of that. You get um, mantra, meditation, you get spell work, you get everything to keep you going and to get you in the right track in terms of your business endeavor. All right, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book there. Take care. Bye. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience, as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. 
take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.